All right, if anyone can hear me on Discord, let me know. God damn it. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Jurassic World, the game. The game that keeps on giving. Isn't that right? Oh, no, that wasn't the right one. Yeah, there it is. Although maybe the other one's more preferable. I don't know. Anyway, so I just recorded a video and accidentally had it play through Discord. So luckily, no one, there was only a few people on Discord because I was just in general voice chat, just doing this. <laughs> but anyway, here we are in Justin World the Game. The game is now officially, I think, seven years old. Oh my God, I've been playing this game for seven years. Midlife crisis. <laughs> But we're here because we have two announcements to make. Actually, we have a new hybrid. And not only that, we have a new dinosaur coming to the game. I don't know when it's coming. I don't know if it's going to be a tournament creature. They usually are. Or if it's going to be VIP. VIP would be nice. Uh, it would also be nice to have some VIP rewards. Ludia, looking at you, babes. Mwah. <laughs> okay, well, let's look at the lottery. Did we win anything? Uh, well, we've, um, apparently we've, we've got something. Is, is it good? We got one of... Oh, we got an Ehrlichosaurus. I guess it's not that bad. Uh, what else we got? I've got my food. Oh, stick in a rare. Stick in a rare. Why not? Right, so we'll collect. We'll do our daily duties. See if there's anything good. I've slowly been, you know, working my way back to getting some books. But it's... Oh, my God, guys. It's, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's so hard to get books because... The game just doesn't want to give it to you. No, you don't, don't want it. You don't want, you don't want books. Don't, don't, don't lie. Uh, so what have we got? Anything good? To, ooh. Uh, color, blah, 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 blah. Um, here we go. To, yeah, I guess that's not so bad. You know, if it's, if I can trade anything for books, I'll do it. Uh, let's see what decorations we've got. We've got 19 John Hammonds. Well, we trade those for VIP. So basically, we've just got VIP points that we lost from trading the books. So we basically got books for free. Technically. We're on a plus, and then we have to use 50 bucks to keep on refreshing this, because I think it works out if you keep on doing this. Hopefully we get something for coin. That's not bad. Okay, so we're at 50 bucks, even though we refreshed it, and eight... Oh, somebody said I can max up! Oh, what is it? The Scorpius Rex. I didn't realize, but we can do that. So, you know, we'll trade a John Hammond statue. Yeah, sure. Because I think the main reason I didn't max up Scorpius Rex in, you know, when we unlocked it, was because... It was bloody hard, and it, it took so much food to feed. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll give me that. So I've also done an impromptu uh, thing on my Discord. So you can find the Discord in the link in the description below, where I was like on stage and I asked questions and I invited people on stage, and I think it was fun. I, well, I had fun. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a lot in the description there's loads you go to the description you can get uh, special links to resources in this game you can get some advanced GG fuel you can also get hoodies and the discords and all the social medias and stuff like that where you may interact with <laughs> me if you're lucky I might not like you though how you going <laughs> right okay anything good here nah but I think we're up on books even though we had to spend some to get some that's the way it goes that's the way the cookie crumbles. So a mission is to place a newly hatched T-Rex. So maybe, you know what? I should probably put a T-Rex uh, into one of these. So we'll go on to carnivores. Go on to this. Oh, there's a Scorpius Rex. And if we go down, it should be... There it is. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to put it in. Just leave it. Why not? I didn't realize that was a mission. Why do I do the missions when we've already maxed up to level 99? You might get something good. It's coin right now, but it might be something better later. Hey, <laughs> don't you love this game? So, the new um, hybrid in here, I think it is the Rhino Proton. Rhino Protodon. Oh, we don't have Deprotodon. <gasps> oh, interesting. This must be a new one. Deprotodon is the largest marsupial to ever live. It looks like a giant Australian wombat. So we need seven more of these guys. We do have one. We can instant hatch for a hundred, but we can only do that four times. Um, and you know what? I love you guys. <laughs> it, it, it kills me, <laughs> but we'll do it. We'll do it. Uh, so we'll just keep on doing that. So 3,000 instant hatch for 100. How much is it to instant hatch normally? Oh, 600. Oh my God. Maybe we won't be able to do it. <laughs> Three. Uh, four. And then. Uh, 
five. Would it always cost 600 freaking bucks to speed up a legendary? News to me, good lord. Uh, okay, uh, so that's five. We need three more. So that is 1,800 bucks. Uh, and that's not including the books we need to speed up. So 10 for that. Oh, it's 500. Okay. Okay, that's a little bit better than a T-Rex. So two left. There's one. Incubate for 10. Uh-huh. Oh, don't you love this game? It's beautiful. I can't instant hatch the hybrid, but I don't think I need to instant hatch it because it's in the test tube, I think. Right? I think it is. I'll read. Ten. 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 I mean, we might as well instant fuse it. Oh, he's so small. <laughs> it's so tiny. It looks way bigger than that. Why is it so small? I like how it runs off. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. It can just stick its hand inside and it apparently it just pulls out a fish. That's brilliant. It's very clever. Instant fuse. Yes. Oh, we got a code 19. Somebody's got the Rona in the pack. Instant fuse, baby. Level 11. Yes, thank you. And then this. If I wish I'd known what it took to make the hybrid. Otherwise, I would have done it. I saw that it was the rhino. And I was like, oh, do I... Well, you know, because I guessed it was the rhino. Because it looked like the rhino. And it was the rhino, but I didn't know what else the other ingredient was. So... Oh, is that still 160? I think it was. 20. And a 20. And a 30. And the thing is, right, this is one of the rare cases where the hybrid we make is actually really, really bad. So thank you, Lily. So we'll make that. There we go. Another instant fused. 180. Oh, wow. It looks like a weird Transylvanian reindeer. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like a vampire bat with the, the nose right up to its eyes. Oh, okay. So at level 40, it has 1,226 health and 383 attack. Which, you know, for a normal legendary, I guess, isn't that bad. Uh, so let's just collect all of this and get some bucks back. Good lord. Um, and let's do this because it's bugging me with the noise in the background. Yeah. All right. Kool-Aid, here we go. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah. That did a number in my voice. I really shouldn't have done that. I just spent like an hour in Discord chatting with people and it's completely killed us. <laughs> oh, but it was fun. It was fun. You definitely, I'll probably do that. I'd like to do that and stream or something like that. That'd be a good idea. If people could join the Discord and then also... Like, have a voice. <gasps> we should do that. Oh, that would be so good. Yes. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, because we need two uh, code 19s in order to get more super DNA. Or boss DNA, it is. Sorry. Ooh, a Ramphorinkus. Is this a rare? I think it's a rare. Oh, what's... Th is it a movie? There's something where... It's Kong. It's not the first time I think they've done like a flying creature with a beak that could slice people, but it's Kong Skull Island with the flying things with the razor beaks that like cut. Yeah, it looks like this. That's interesting. Astute observation there, beavers. Yes. 40. Yeah, what we'll do, because I, I need to do a Primal Carnage live stream at some point in the near future, in the next couple of days. I think what we should do at the end of it is everybody come into Discord and then we can do like a rapid fire thingy at the end. That'd be quite fun. Da -da -da -da. Oh my God, I'm getting all of it. You know what? I'll take it. I'll, I'll happily take it. Super creatures or super hybrids are really good. Oh, <laughs> so nostalgic. <gasps> Natsukashi. <laughs> Seeing this Spinosaur. God, remember when I first leveled like maxed up Spinosaur? Like, oh, this thing looks insane. It's so cool. And it does. It looks really cool. The thing is, if I mean, if I was head of, you know, because it was Hasbro at the time, wasn't it? Hasbro had the license to um, the toys and such. 
And it wasn't until quite far on into... Oh my god, we're getting more far on to the lifespan. Oh, this is the new flyer. So maybe we've got lots of DNA for this. Into the lifespan of this game that they decide to release toys of the dinosaurs in here. So you had Indominus Rex that was level 40. I think even Spinosaur, like that Spinosaur had a figure released. They just took the original mold and put um, like the colorings on. So they didn't really change much. And I think there was like a, there was a hybrid like the Dilophosaurus T-Rex hybrid, which wasn't even in the game, but they were like, ah, sort of T-Rex Dilophosaurus, that'll make money. And it was the most horrific, hideous looking dinosaur toy I've ever seen. <laughs> it were horrible. All right, here we go. 25. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, is that it done? Oh, I can rest. Thank you. Thanks, game. But I did also... Oh, look at all those. <laughs> oh, yes. So, I mean, we got 24 hours to fuse two herbivores, open six packs, which we could definitely do. Um, open 15 packs, which I'm definitely not gonna do. And I could use carnivores if I wanted to, but... Yeah. I'm alright. So, what we got? Um, we were in the midst of... Ooh, what's this? Don't know. Just a random village. Oh, this is where I have all my trophies. Yeah. Oh, there's the Brachiosaur one. I don't know what that is. Brachiosaur sculpture. What was it used for? I don't know. So, yes, the new dinosaur. And then we got, like, a Triceratops exhibit, which is, of course, Fallen Kingdom. Uh, if we go to news, <gasps> Gyrosphere Diorama loyalty points. Ooh. Did I... Oh, did that come with it? Oh, okay. Brilliant. Also, I think I might have missed something. Uh, oh, a newsletter. First time subscribers will receive a 300 in-game cash. I think there's also something, there's an email. I don't know whether it's Just World Alive or Just World the Game where if you click on it, you get 200 bucks. So don't forget that. Check your emails. Also, link in the description below to get more resources. Hey! <laughs> So this is the new creature, uh, a crowned creature. This beast is waiting to show off his crest. His, not hers. Ooh. So it looks like a Sinsatosaurus. And I think we have Sinsato in Jurassic World Alive. And it's a, it's a more recent addition to the game. Uh, but we are here for the hybrid as well. So let's see. Where are you? Vobestu, Odoko there. So we got one instant fuse. Instant fuse, heck yeah. So that... And we have another code 19. So this thing, now if you remember, it was like 1,300 health, 500 attack-ish. At level 1, 269 health and 103 damage. And oh my god, this nightmare. It is the weirdest thing I have seen in a long time. And I've seen some weird things from, from Ludia. The mammoth Sensato hybrid being one of them. Basically being a mammoth with a little horn in its head. But this thing takes the cake for one of the derpiest and just out of place looking creatures in the game. It looks like something that would have appeared in a 90s uh, puppet animation. You know, like, a, you know, back when you had like toy soldiers and all the, the never ending story. Like you had puppeteers and people in costumes. It looks like something from, like there would be in one of those movies or like a, an early Godzilla monster. Because <laughs> when you see it from its front, oh, it doesn't look good. Hey, but we're getting free DNA. I'm happy with that and free super DNA. Don't mean to toot my own horn, but that was a lot of DNA. Oh, 680. Right, is that we done? We done? Thank you. Okay, God. Well, let's go over here. Where are we? Where are we? Let's have a look at you. Let's have a look at you. Look at that face. Look at that. Look at that. Look that in the eye and tell me that's not creepy. He's got a bowl cut. Why does it have a bowl cut? Okay. Oh, it fishes the same. And level 10. Bear in mind, level 10 are supposed to be on par, if not a little bit better than their previous components put together. But for whatever reason, this thing is 404 health and 154 attack. And this is a legendary hybrid. How? How do you do this, Ludia? Please answer me. I have no idea how you keep making these same mistakes. It's, it's crazy. It really is. I have no idea. And how much does one cost? 57,000. A level 40. 
It's got like 100 extra health and 30 extra attack. How? How does that work? I mean, compare it to something cheaper, 7,000 DNA cheaper, Mammotherium. Hey, <laughs> why? It's so weird. It has three times more attack. And well, should we just say, what, like six times more health? I, don't, I haven't run the math, but like five or six times more health. It, it, it's redonkulous. I do not understand why four or five times. <laughs> Semantics. <laughs> so obviously this thing is going to be changed, right? It has to be. It has to be. So let's have a look. Do we have anything interesting? Gyrospheres are never worth it because they cost books to enter. This, however, is because a rare pack is one of the packs that actually gives you a fair chance of getting uh, uh, books. PvP, uh, nothing here. Boss events. Ooh. Ooh, my. I don't think they're really that worth it, though, even if you do win a Domination Rewards pack. It's just DNA. And the entry is 30 books. And you need to do that two times. So 60 books for DNA. Other way around, please. I'll do it. I'll, t I'll take, like, 5,000 DNA to enter to win so many books. Maybe 100, 200 bucks. I'll do that. I would genuinely play the game more if it was the other way around. But Ludia doesn't want to. <laughs> what was that move? I don't know. It's me being frustrated with Ludia. <laughs> right, let's go to Battle Stage Infinite. This was a toughie. I tried this before and it died. Why? Because I have no good freaking uh, amphibians. Uh, as you can see, my top dinosaurs, Carnival. Carnival. Herbivore? Carnival. Fly it? Herbivore? Carnival. <laughs> and it, it may- Oh, yes! <gasps> Scorpius Rex, where are you? Where are you, Scorpius Rex? It's gotta be here. No, that's Indoraptor, right? That's Indoraptor. Where's Scorpius? Scorpius, you've gotta be here. You gotta- I think you're in here somewhere. You've gotta be. Right? No. All right, well, we're going to have to do it the the hard way. We're going to have to go in here. Dep in super hybrids. No. Scorpius? Wait, Scorpius Rex is not a super hybrid. Is it just a regular carnivore? It must be. I just, okay, okay, okay. Scorpius. There it is. Where are you? Where are you, Scorpius? Ah, uh, I don't get to find out. Oh, my God. It's four million a pop. Whoa. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Jesus. Okay, let's watch the final animation we'll ever see of Scorpius Rex going into its max level. Boom. 9,359 health and 3,957 attack. Oh, lordy. Oh, my God. Maybe this is the best creature now I've got. Wow. Oh, there you are. There you just, you're over there chilling with the big guys, the big boys. All right. Now, let's see. In the roster, where'd you stack up? Oh, I think it's just got better than uh, Draco Ceratops. Uh, it's got more attack, a tiny bit less health. To be fair, I'd rather have 600 extra attack than 700 extra health. Makes more sense. Okay. So, it's one, two, three, four, five. It's the sixth strongest dinosaur in the game. However, for this matchup, it is not. So, we need amphibians. I don't want to use a flyer. It's, it's, it's too risky. We'll use Indoraptor. And I don't know if I have another really good... I mean, nerfing the attack is all well and good. But then, I guess we do get extra. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. It's just Indoraptor might be an issue. 4,000 attack. I need to kill it. I need to kill Nundercosaurus. Even then, though, you've got Ophicodon with 9,188 attack. So even halved, it's going to kill Ostoposaurus in two hits. It's going to kill Gorgosuchus in two hits. It's going to kill Indoraptor in two hits. Everything I'm facing kills me in two hits, pretty much. Uh, the only one, and, and for me, it takes Gorgosuchus, two, four, six, like five attacks to kill Nundagosaurus. It takes Indoraptor, two hits to kill Ophicodon, two hit, 
three hits, if not four hits to kill Giga. Giga has 22,000 health. 22,000 health. All right. Praise. I put I put my fate in the gods. What gods? I don't know. Just gods. Um, and I will go for a block because I need to. Because if he goes for two attack, I'm dead. And then it's game. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm... Two reserves. Sod it. Sod it. Two reserves. Go for two reserves. Please don't attack me for two. Please don't. Please. Please. Ah. Thank you. Now, the thing is, even if I switch in or I lose Gorgosuchus and have Interruptor come in, Interruptor has more attack anyway. So it's kind of like, do I want to? Do I want to lose Gorgo? I probably don't want to lose Gorgo. One, two, three. Okay, so he's got one block. He's got one block. Um, yeah, I need to kill him. I need to kill him here. I need to kill him. So one, two, three, four, and then that. Now, worst case scenario, he goes for a reserve. If he goes for a reserve, it can kill me no matter what. So it's whether or not I factor that in and just go for three reserves. And even if he does and he goes for four, at least then Ostoposaurus comes in with seven and they have nothing. However, if I go for three block and he's got a reserve, it's wasted. So in theory, it's actually better for me to go for reserves than to block. But if he doesn't go for reserve and he goes for a block, I've survived and kept Indoraptor for another turn. You, you feel me? <laughs> but I'll risk it. Uh, so that's unfortunate because now I might die. Uh, if I went for four, uh, sorry, three block, I wouldn't have died. Oh, sorry, if I, I wouldn't have died there, but I did die. But good news is that he has nothing. Right, so I have to do this. The problem is Giganotosaurus has 22,000 health. And I only have 3,000 in attack. So... Three, six, nine, 1,200. I die in one hit. So it's a case of... If I round up 3,000 attack. Three, six, nine. In four hits, I do 1,200. But then we have to factor in the extra hits. So I think if I... Because I can't put in four and then take out. I have to guess. If I put in one, I've lost. I need to go all out here. So I think if I put in four, it's going to be just shy. I think it's going to be just shy. Because that is an extra 10,000 damage that I don't think I'm going to get from four attacks. If I had five, maybe 10,000 is plausible. But the thing is, there's nothing I can do here. If I risk it and go for three reserve, sorry, one reserve, three block, and he goes to four, I'm dead. So one, two, three. I knew it. I was just shy. Oh. I would have won there if I'd switched around Gorgosuchus and the other and that Ostoposaurus, because then Gorgosuchus would have had like three thousand extra, and I would have killed it. I would have killed it. So what we're gonna do? We're going to use our instant recoveries. And I'm going to hope that we can repeat that. Or. Or. What I do is I put in something that, like, all matter. If I put in all matter, then Indoraptor, and then Gorgosuchus. That way, he even might waste a swap in for O for Codon. If he does, I die in one hit. So actually, that's not worth it. I think what I need to do is still... Uh, Udon's my safest bet. Honestly. There's no point me putting in Pachygalosaurus because I think Pachygalosaurus will die in two hits still and it'll have like 1,050 attack, which is nothing. At least with Udon, I have 1,600-ish. One th oh, sorry, 1,800 attack, which is more than 1,050. So, fingers crossed. Oh, come on, please, please. We can do this. Come on, Udon. 
I have to go for one block. I just have to do it. It has to be done. Please go for two attack. Please. No! Why? Okay, two reserve. Okay, he's killed me. I think. He might not. He might not. Because two hits have to kill me. And I might have blocked for two. <gasps> yes! Oh, this is... We got lucky. We got so lucky there. So he's got five? He's got five. Okay, please go for five. Go for five. If you go for five, I will kiss you. Okay, he's got one block. We're in the same situation as before, but better. Because I've got eight now. So now I know for a fact I can kill him. So that's killed him. I can factor in one and then make sure that Indoraptor survives. Right? Yes. Yes. Yes? <laughs> oh, we survived. Oh my god. We're gonna do it. One, two, and then two reserves. Yes. I think we've done it. I think we've legit done it. I have been stuck on this level for so long. And I think I've just done it. Okay, so he's got one block, but we've got five. And we saw that four almost killed it. And now we've got an extra, like, thousand attacks. So one, two, three, four. Uh, oh, if Gorg yes, Gorga would have killed him. Ah, oh, damn. If I'd swapped those two, Gorga would have killed him. But anyway, here we go. Even with the one block, five does an extra. Oh, almost 10,000 damage. I told you, five attack would do 10,000 damage. And there it is. We did it. We need uh, Where is it? Yay! Uh, did we get books is the question. Oh, we got two books! Yes! Two hundo! It's been good! It's been a good one! We've got 200 books. We've unlocked a new uh, hybrid, which is crap, but you know. And we did the final thing that I was stuck on for ages. Uh, can we claim something? Ooh, we opened more card packs. Sweet! Well, anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you beaver babies later. Oh, bye-bye. Yeah, love it. Don't lie. <laughs>